Welcome back to TV Faction today. We're embarking on a journey through the realm of television, where brilliant shows faced an untimely demise. In today's video, we're diving into the intriguing and often perplexing world of entertainment, exploring the top 10 shows that got cancelled. These are the gems that shone brightly, only to be extinguished too soon. And if you're enjoying the content, kindly take a moment to share your thoughts and give the video a thumbs up. At number 10 we have Dominion, God vanishes, and in his absence the Archangel Gabriel and his army of lower angels wage war against mankind, believing them to be the cause of God's absence. 25 years later, mankind survives in a few fortified cities. The Archangel Michael has chosen to side with humanity against Gabriel, living among humans in the fortified city of Vega, until the time a prophesied savior appears to save mankind. This is definitely a show to watch if you like sci-fi fantasy. At number 9 we have Terra Nova. In 2149, overdeveloped and polluted Earth is dying. With no way to reverse the damage done to the planet, a group of scientists finds a way to open a fracture in the space-time continuum. This creates a portal to prehistoric Earth, leading to a last-ditch effort to save the human race by correcting mistakes of the past. The Shannon family participates in the tenth pilgrimage to Terra Nova, facing such prehistoric dangers as dinosaurs. The Shannons are also challenged within Terra Nova, as not everyone on the mission has the same intentions to save mankind. Terra Nova generated a mix of positive and negative reviews. It garnered praise for its visuals, ambitious concept, and family-centric approach, but it also faced criticism for aspects of character development and pacing. Before you checked yourself in here, you were working as an exorcist and master of the dark arts. At number 8 we have Constantine. Demon hunter and dabbling master of the occult must struggle with his past sins while protecting the innocent from the converging supernatural threats that constantly break through to our world due to the rising darkness. Balancing his actions upon the line of good and evil, Constantine uses his skills in a supernatural scry map to journey across the nation to send these terrors back to their own world, all for the hope of redeeming his soul from eternal torment. Constantine was a great series. It was executed in a best way possible, as the viewers got the real thrilling experience. The suspense in the plot was never revealed until the episode 13's ending. At number 7 we have Starcrossed. When an alien spacecraft lands in Emery's town resulting in an immediate battle, she befriends one of the young Atrians, whom she helps until authorities capture him. Ten years later, a group of Atrian teens is allowed to enroll in the high school to test the ability of the two species to mix, and Emery learns that Roman, the boy she helped, wasn't killed as she had thought but kept in an internment camp with the rest of the aliens. The two rekindle their relationship, while animosity continues to grow between the two communities, putting Roman and Emery's bond and the chance for peace to the test. Star-Crossed received mixed reviews, with praise for its unique concept, diversity, and romantic elements. X-Men said a war is coming. They didn't say we'd win. At number 6 we have The Gifted. Marvel expands its footprint on the television landscape with this new family adventure series about an ordinary suburban family whose lives change course forever when they discover their children have developed mutant powers. When the threat of a hostile government forces the family to go on the run to protect themselves, they join the ranks of an underground network of mutants. Together, the group fight to survive in a world where fear and misunderstanding put them at constant risk. The Gifted has a fairly strong start, wasting no time introducing relatable characters and building a new world. What's it like being a vampire? Being a vampire sucks. At number 5 we have Moonlight. It's a paranormal romance drama that aired on CBS. The show follows Mick St. John, a private investigator and a vampire, as he solves crimes and navigates his complex relationships. Moonlight was known for blending the detective and vampire genres. The combination of crime solving with supernatural elements added a unique twist to the traditional procedural drama. Moving on to number 4 we have Alphas. Alphas are ordinary citizens with amazing abilities including superhuman physical and mental abilities, who operate within the Department of Defense. The clandestine group, led by preeminent neurologist Dr. Lee Rosen, investigates cases that point to others with similar Alpha abilities. Working against the clock to solve this new brand of crime, the Alphas must prevent their own personality differences and disparate backgrounds from interfering with their overall mission catching the enemy.
You have barely scratched the surface of what you are capable of. Moving on to number 3 we have Deadly Class. A homeless, disillusioned teen named Marcus is recruited into King's Dominion, a secret academy for the deadly arts, where he struggles to find his place among a community of the deadliest characters in the world, literally fighting every day for survival. It is in this struggle he tries to find purpose and family in an unlikely group of outcast misfits, who plan to use their skills to really change the world for the better, by breaking every rule there is. If you enjoy edgy, unconventional stories with a mix of action and character development, Deadly Class might be worth checking out despite its limited run. Moving on to number 2 we have Jericho. A nuclear mushroom cloud appears on the horizon, and for the residents of Jericho, a small Kansas town, it could mean they're the only Americans left alive. But even in a time of crisis, some folks will find an inner strength they never knew existed, causing them to emerge as the most unlikeliest of heroes. As the citizens slowly rebuild Jericho, however, they also find themselves in a bitter turf war with the residents of another town. Jericho was generally well received for its intriguing premise, strong character development, and exploration of community dynamics in a post-apocalyptic setting. At number 1 we have Firefly, set 500 years in the future after a universal civil war. The crew of a small transport spaceship takes any job, so long as it puts food on the table. The disparate men and women just want to survive and maybe have better lives, but they face constant challenges on the new frontier such as the Reavers, flesh-eating mongrels who live on the fringes of the universe. The magic of this show is in an amazing mix of a comedy, action, thriller and space western, with the main characters relating to each other with an amazing warmth. Each episode is its own story, and in each episode several small character arcs are completed, something that most modern shows fails to reproduce. Firefly might be on the top 10 list of some sci-fi fans, 